Hi everybody, welcome back to Living in Charlotte NC, the channel where we give you the inside scoop on all things Charlotte. So whether you're considering a move to the Charlotte area or just curious about what goes on in the general Charlotte market, you're in the right place. Today we're just getting into the early parts of September, which in my mind means fall is right around the corner. And in this video, what we're going to do is give you an idea of some of the special things that go on during the fall months that make the Charlotte area so special, so stick around. I am Dave DeSilva, a longtime realtor here in the Charlotte area. Um, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell and you're going to be the first to get notified when we put out new videos, which is about once or twice a week. I mean, maybe three times in the next couple of weeks. We're just uh, trying to get in all the interesting things going on in the Charlotte market. Listen, we do get calls, texts, emails all the time from folks just like you wondering what's going on in the general Charlotte market. And they want to know there are things to do, people see places to go, and we're one of the sources for that information. So regardless of whether you're thinking of coming here in 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, we are the right ones to talk to, and we would love to get on a call with you. Down below in the description, we've got a Zoom link where you can set up that time, the duration to get on a Zoom call with us and just discuss Charlotte. For those of you who are a little bit shy, maybe put something in the comments. Tell us what you want to hear about, what you want to see, and give us some update on how you think this video is going as we go along in it. So as we said in the start, we're going to talk about things to do in the Queen City in the fall. So you should find this pretty interesting. Again, if you've got some things that are your highlights, you live in Charlotte or you've been here before, put those in the comments. All the things that we're going to talk about, I'm very familiar with, and almost all of them I've either been to or my family's been to. That doesn't mean me and my wife, but it could be my kids. So first and foremost, when we get a little bit deeper into the fall season, the weather becomes really awesome down here in the Charlotte market, the Charlotte region. It gets to be shorts and sweatshirt weather sometime around probably mid-October, sometimes early November. And as you can see today, it's just, I think, 70 degrees, which is kind of cool here, especially for end of summer, beginning of fall. But it's about 70 degrees, a little bit breezy, cloudy, a little bit. I see some blue sky, but today's been basically a little bit of a cloudy day. And I've got my long sleeve shirt on because I've gotten thin skinned living down here. That's what happens to you in Charlotte uh, after growing up in New England. But we still have a number of warm days throughout the winter, most likely. Maybe even a snow day or two, but it's usually pretty mild here. Almost, you get four seasons, but some of them are pretty short seasons. And the fall is medium season. The winter is a very short season. And what that does is it makes a great opportunity for a lot of outdoor activities. So first up, let's talk about fall festivals and events that are must-sees here in Charlotte. Charlotte really does have a jam-packed calendar this time of year from the Carolina Renaissance Festival, which is really cool. That's north of town, to the Yasu Greek Festival which I think, I think that may have taken place already or it's taken place this weekend, but they've got some really great events and these are just two of the big ones. One thing as a side note, the Greek Festival puts on an annual 5K road race every year and it is traditionally very fast. So that's one of those can't miss events. Lots of food, lots of entertainment. One of the can't miss events is the festival in the park held at Freedom Park every year. And it's just on the south side of Uptown Charlotte. So just on the outskirts of town. And this year is the 60th annual festival at which you're going to see food, art, music, um, great entertainment, and just an opportunity to walk around with your fellow citizens of Charlotte. Um, it starts on September 20th and goes through the 22nd. So hopefully this gets put out, get the things flying around, this gets put out before that date. You know, there's tons of trails. And if you're a hiker and biker, Freedom Park is just one of the places that you can run to and through. And again, this time of year, there's just lots to do and lots to see, especially when late October, early November comes around, you're gonna see a lot of foliage. Now, if you're into something a little bit spooky, oh, Scarewinds at Carowinds Amusement Park, they transform the amusement park into a Halloween horror haven every year. Trust me, it's not for the faint of heart, and it is a big, huge facility, and has a lot going on all year round, especially during this time of year. Scarewinds, don't miss it. And speaking of Halloween, don't miss out on the myriad of local pumpkin patches and corn mazes, especially like the one down in Lancaster, the Hall Family Farm. 
It's opening in late September and it's their 50th season and is located, like I said, just south of Charlotte across the South Carolina border in Lancaster. And the Hall Family Farm is perfect for a day out with the family complete, complete with hay rides, pumpkin picking, a corn maze, like I said, that'll have you questioning your sense of direction. It's the kind of experience that makes Charlotte such a special place. And one thing I want to talk about is Lancaster is not necessarily a suburb of Charlotte, but if you drive around the suburbs of Charlotte this time of year, you're going to see signs on a bunch of their parks, signs downtown, all talking about the fall events. Um, so whether it's a, a pumpkin patch, pick your pumpkin, whether it's a, a corn maze, hide out, go hide and go seek type thing, uh, juice I'm at a loss for words, or whether it's one of those hay rides, um, lots to do. And if you look at the sign that I'm going to post here, uh, for example, Mint Hill has a pumpkin decorating activity for the whole month of October. So there are lots of things in the suburbs of Charlotte as well. All right, let's go ahead and mix in a little bit of sports and some more local events going on in the market here during this fall time frame. So if, sport, if sports is more your thing, fall in Charlotte will not disappoint you. Friday nights are all about high school football and soccer. I had to add soccer in there. Football's the big sport, though. There's nothing like cheering on your local team under the Friday night lights. So it's fantastic if they're on the news. You hear them down the street. If Even if you're a mile away from a, a local high school, you see the lights in the background behind the woods. If you're driving by a high school, lots of activity going on. And as we get deeper into the fall season, we're getting closer and closer to playoff time for all the local sports. So from October into late November, we have a long season here for a lot of sports. You'll be able to catch soccer, football, cross country, field hockey, and a bunch of other great sports reaching their peaks. And North Carolina is loaded with great high school sports and teams and individual athletes. So check it out if you're down here. you got to get some tickets to a game. And for me, my personal favorite school event is a South Mecklenburg High School playoff soccer match. Whether it's women in the spring or men in the fall. Just great atmosphere, great activity, and a lot of good, like I said, talent. And these are traditions that really bring the community together. And let's not forget about the Carolina Panthers. After the season last year, a lot of people have forgotten about them. But I have faith that we are going to be a, a growing team and an ever-improving team. So that's the Carolina Panthers. You can catch a game at the Bank of America Stadium. It's an absolute, absolute must for any football fan in the area. And speaking about Bank of America Stadium, they've started to play some high school football games there, and they're nationally televised. Like I said, big-time high school football around the Charlotte market. We're attracting teams from different parts of the country to come up here and play some of our better, better schools every year. Now, like I said, Charlotte sports scene doesn't end right there with football. The Charlotte Football Club um, brings soccer games to the Bank of America Stadium. It's incredible energy. The Charlotte Hornets tip off their NBA season soon. So fall truly is a sports lover's paradise here in Charlotte. Now, I've got one more event that I want to just mention here on the air, and that is my annual Pi Day. Every November, the week just before Thanksgiving, I put on a pie giveaway to my past clients, some friends and family, that sort of thing, who's ever around the area. And I'll send out invitations, let you know to keep the date open, give you the times and location for that pie giveaway. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and make a comment down below and, and I'll send you an invitation. If you're in Charlotte, let me know. You can come by and get a pie. If you're not in Charlotte, I'm not going to send it to you. You might have to fly in and get one then too. So if you're enjoying this video so far, we've got a little ways to go. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to hear more about the Charlotte market, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Again, leave comments. Let us know what you want to hear about. If this isn't it, make that comment. If this is it, tell us how we can do better. Okay, now we're on to a subject I can talk about a little bit more and at ease. So for all of you beer lovers out there, here we go. Charlotte's craft brewery scene shines in the fall. Breweries across the city roll out their seasonal brews, things like pumpkin ales, Oktoberfest lagers, and spice stouts. So if you're not sure where to start, try a few of my favorite, Middle James Brewery, Mint Gold, or Mint City Gold is my favorite beer there, or the Old Mecklenburg Brewery, OMB for short, and Toberfest, that's tough for me to say, is one of their seasonal favorites and pairs great with this crisp autumn air. Now I will say that both of these breweries, Middle James and OMB, have opened up second locations in Charlotte. For OMB, it might be their third, but OMB's down in the Ballantine Bowl, Middle James is down in Waxhaw, and again, they're great places to go, great people there. Now, if you're looking at a guy with a little bit of graying hair and you're thinking maybe his favorite's not my favorite, let me know your age group or what kind of beer you like to drink or what kind of scene you like to be in. I've got a 27-year-old son here in Charlotte. Is he 27 or 26? 
26, sorry. He's 26 year old son here in Charlotte who can help you with some of your breweries. So I will ask him the questions that you sent me. I do know that there's Pilot, Caswell's, and then what else? Moo and Brew up towards Town Moor. And then there's a lot in South End that he likes to go to. So let me know what you're looking for too. And if you happen to be in Charleston, I've got a daughter down there. Maybe she can help you out. So send me those questions and comments. All right. And of course, it's not just about the beer. Many of these breweries host themed events all year, but especially towards that October time frame from Oktoberfest celebrations to cozy fire pits live music or catch your favorite Premier League game um, it's a perfect way to unwind after a busy week or to try to catch up with friends so cheers to that and what I mean by Premier League game that might have gone over some people's heads some of the breweries around here um, specialize in holding events for some of the Premier League's events for the Charlotte FC uh, soccer game so they're very into their football around here, or we are. Okay, last but certainly not least, let's talk about Uptown Charlotte's fall shows and cultural events. And you can't speak about it without talking about the Blooming Thaw Performing Arts Center. It hosts everything from Broadway shows, Broadway hits, to intimate concerts. So whether you're into musicals, symphonies, comedy shows, there's something for everyone this season, and that's the fall. And certainly don't miss out on the Southern Christmas Show in November. It's a huge event that transformed the park, excuse me, the Park Expo and Conference Center into a winter wonderland, yep, even in the fall. That way you can get a head start on your holiday shopping, and that way you can get a head start on your holiday shopping where you just soak in the festive atmosphere. The next thing might be a little bit late in the fall, early winter so you can put it on your calendar now but that is on november 27th which is the 78th annual thanksgiving day parade event and it attracts over a hundred thousand people annually so if you haven't yet uh, please go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tips guys insider information on living in the charlotte area i've been here over 20 years shoot i think it's it's, it's 24 years in charlotte um, and if you're considering making a move to the area whether it's the north carolina side or the south carolina side which is just a just a stone's throw away from where i live i'm here to help reach out anytime so there you have it some of the best things to do in or around charlotte in the fall time so whether you're here for the festivals the sports the brews or the shows there's no shortage of ways to keep yourself entertained and to enjoy the season so thanks for hanging out with me today give the video a thumbs up if you would if you liked it if you didn't like it don't give it a thumbs down just put a comment in there about what you didn't like what we can improve on so until next time stay cozy and i'll see you in the next video